Ha! But a morning to you already know who it is. Your boy Sally Sella. We're here at the DB Garage. We're here with the Barn 5 SC400. This morning we're replacing this other coil pack up here because as I was explaining in the video of me riding home in it, the exhaust pipe heats up, right? And uh, the symptoms look like a clogged catalytic converter, which in some cases it could be, but it's very known for these vehicles right here to have one coil blow out, which makes the engine only run on half of the cylinders of the engine, so only four which causes a lot of heat to go down through the catalytic converters and into your exhaust pipe, which in turn makes it heat up, turn going red. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna replace that coil pack right there. with a new coil pack is, if you can see, super gunked up, right? <clears throat> One thing I know for sure is obviously the buddy that I got this car from, you know, they didn't do maintenance on the car, right? You know, as you can tell. I mean, even, you know. So I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do to clean it up. <laughs> okay, because I know there's not a video on this part because I've, I've looked. So, pretty much, there's two coils. That's the coil I fucked up, still got to fix. Just act like you don't even see none of the tape, none of the up stuff, right? Well, on the driver's side, um, pretty much... To get the coils off, there's four Phillips screws on the top, right? But when it's actually up, it's like there, so you're not able to actually get to the screws. So you have to take the whole bracket off. So just so it's clear and everyone knows, on this side, there's a bolt right where you see it disconnected there. And then there's another small 10 millimeter bolt right there on the end and you kind of got to go in between the belt right here that one right there so you get those two off and then it's going to take the bracket off you're going to be able to get the coil just so it's clear thank me later so another just to be clear there's two plugs on the coil pack the bottom one or a coil i'm sorry the bottom one and then the top one the bottom one is just you press the button on the side it pops off the plug right there that's the one i broke on my other coil so be careful. And then this other one, you're gonna look at it and be like, what the fuck? So right at the bottom, there's gonna be a little nuts right here. You just gotta lift that up and then it'll pull off. So like I told you guys, when you get the bracket off, you're gonna wanna take out these four screws. I recommend, cause I've already done it. So take it from me that these are always really tight so i recommend using an impact or at least a drill to get them out because when you strip them you're gonna be fucked and that's kind of how that happened over there so take it from me right, drive just replace coils spark plugs fuel filter air filter let it warm up a little bit I know I'm all sweaty once again. I live in Arizona. This shit is not easy out here. So let's go take it. To I can feel it's got its power back. See what kind of power it's got now. But I'll tell you from driving it all the way back, it's already alive. I can feel it. So that's good. At least I'll be able to daily this bitch until I sell it. Oof. Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm in love, y'all. No way. Look at the fucking steering wheel's got auto roll up and down in 93. Get the fuck out of here. There's a slight vibration. Now that could just be the tires. But there's definitely a vibration. But I mean that's the least of my worries. Car runs. All it's got is an airbag light, and obviously I need to put my seatbelt on. Oh. I can feel the SC400, you know? Now, as I was saying, I'm like a fucking, bro, when I'm really like into something, I'll sit there and research, especially cars, to the deepest, deepest, deepest point. Like, I've done so much research on this SC400 and I found out so many things from some of the guys that have been doing this stuff forever. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty well rounded, but 
Another one of the biggest issues, even when your car is running it, you know, you can drive it on the daily and it's nothing that's like crazy misfire. You will still probably need to replace your ECU capacitors because they leak, right? And back in the day, they didn't use the correct capacitors. So they, they blow out fast, they leak fast. And even when they don't look like they're leaking, they're gonna start leaking. So everyone in the forum says, replace those, it'll change the game. So I definitely re recommend you guys do that as well. But so far, just the spark plugs and pull-up packs has got this car back alive. Runs and drives. Let me get it.